Okay, so today I thought I'd share a tip with you on how to create a time lapse using Pinnacle Studio. And for this example, I have chosen a 16 minute long uh, clip of the sunset over Turkey here, uh, 16 minute and 40. And uh, Pinnacle has the option of uh, taking any clip and applying an effect uh, called speed and you could speed up the clip to about five times uh, but still uh, if you speed up uh, 16 minutes and 40 to five times the regular speed it will end up being a movie of three minutes and 30 40 seconds so it's still it's going to be uh, uh, quite long um, so uh, uh, another way of doing that is if you um, you locate your clip and you double click it uh, you then right click on the uh, uh, clip again and you subdivide the scene um, uh <coughs> excuse me now you can now subdivide each scene into uh, how ma however many seconds you like which would be the equivalent of uh, the interval between let's say you want to use a regular uh, DSLR and you want to take a picture every five seconds so what you need you you need to uh, enter five to be like the five second interval between each image uh, okay and that's gonna divide your clip into five second scenes it's still gonna be like 200 scenes here uh, they're all gonna be selected if not you can go to edit and select all you then you take the uh, clips and you click and you drag and drop them on your timeline Again, all the scenes you just dropped should be selected here still. Uh, you bring up the video toolbox. Uh, you go into uh, clip properties. And now uh, you change the duration of all the clips selected on the timeline here to just showing the first frame. Either punch in zero up here, or you could just use the um, up and down arrow here to decrease the seconds to uh, to the point where you only end up with one frame. So that's gonna give you the result like taking a picture every five seconds. Um, and still, since all the uh, scenes are still selected in the timeline here, you could uh, still you could add any effect you like, like magic bullets, or you want to color correct it, or noise reduction, anything you add here in the effects panel will be applied to all the clips. Uh, so, uh, what you end up now with is a 16 minute clip that's going to be uh, reduced to a 8 second, second segment. Anyway, so that's the way I'm usually doing it and it works fine for me at least.